okay now if the user made a long click the contextual action mode appear now the user made some selection now here the counter is updated so after the selection if the user click the delete button on the toolbar we have to remove the selected items from the adapter uh, that is the next step for that we have to add some methods inside the adapter class so open the conduct adapter dot java here I'm going to define some method public update adapter and this method need one argument here specify the return type void for this method we need only one argument that is an array list that contains some objects of conduct class I name it as a list now we need to remove the object available on this array list from the adapter for that start some for each loop some object of conduct conduct and use the argument list now we need to remove each of these object from the array list from the adapter so adapter list dot remove conduct after that you have to call this method called the notify data set change okay and now go to main activity dot java so if the user click the delete button we have to remove the selected items from the list at the same time we have to disable the disable the contextual action mode uh, we have to display a normal toolbar uh, we have to disable this text view also we have to uh, we have to hide the checkbox on each of these list item so now here you need to override some method called on options item selected so if the user click the delete button this method will invoke now we have to check if the user click the delete button so if item dot get item id equal to r dot id dot item delete first we have to remove the selection so first I change this variable into false now we have to remove the selected items from the adapter for that we need an object of the conduct adapter class so create an object of conduct adapter equal to adapter now type cast this one into conduct adapter now by using this object you can call that method conduct adapter dot update adapter and pass the array list selection list okay now we need to uh, we have to display a normal toolbar first thing we need to remove the menu items after that we have to display the normal toolbar and also we have to disable this text view for that here I am going to create another method public void clear action mode okay just remove this statement from here and put it here first we change the value of this variable into false 
now we have to clear the menu on the toolbar so toolbar dot get menu dot clear now we need to inflate a normal toolbar so toolbar dot inflate menu r dot menu dot menu activity main now we need to remove the home button from the toolbar so get supported action bar dot set to display home as up enabled into false this will remove the home button from the toolbar now we have to hide the text view from the toolbar so counter text view dot set visibility into into gone now we have to update the text on the text view zero item selected okay now from here uh, we have to call that method called the clear selection mode so call that method clear selection mode uh, and one more thing here uh, we have to clear the counter variable so counter equal to zero and we have to clear the selection list so selection list dot clear call the method called the clear okay now we can check the application so run it okay now the application available on this virtual device so now here I made a long click so now the contextual action mode is appeared and now I made some selection I select two items from the list now click the delete button now the selected items is deleted at the same time we clear the contextual action mode we hide the text view now it will display a normal toolbar now here I made another selection I select three items now click the delete button okay now it is working fine now here there is another problem so if I made a long click now the recycler view is in contextual action mode now if I click the bike button on this device you can see it will exit the application so if the user click the bike button of the device while the recycler view is in contextual action mode we need to exit the contextual action mode instead of exiting the application so now we have to configure the bike button of the device and the home button available on the toolbar with the contextual action mode of this recycler view so we we need to exit the contextual action mode if the user click the bike button on toolbar or the user click the bike button of the device mm, that is the next step so here uh, you need to implement some methods inside main activity so first we have to handle the device bike button so you need to implement this method called uh, on bike pressed so now here you need to check some condition if if it is in contextual action mode in that case uh, we need to exit the contextual action mode so you can call this method called the clear action mode and call notify data set changed for the adapter otherwise you can simply close the application else other case you can close the application now check it again okay now run it
Okay, now I made a long click. Now the recycler view is in contextual action mode. Okay, now I made some selection. I select two items. Now if I click the bike button, so now you can see that instead of closing the application, it will exit the contextual action mode. So now we successfully configure the device bike button with this contextual action mode of this recycler view. Now we need to configure the home button available on the toolbar with the contextual action mode. For that, we have to add something on the on options item selected method. So here we handle the delete button. Now we need to handle the home button. So add another condition else if. Else if item dot get item id equal to android dot r dot id dot home. In that case, the same thing. First, we need to clear the action mode. After that, we just call the notify. We call the method called the notify data set change for the adapter. Okay, and from here you can return true. Okay, now run the application again. Run it again. Okay, now the application available on this virtual device. Now here I made a long click. Now made some selection. Now I click the home button available on the toolbar. Now you can see it will exit the contextual action mode. So now the user can exit the contextual action mode by clicking the back button or, or by clicking the home button available on the toolbar. So this is how we implement a contextual action mode for the recycler view. I hope you understand the concepts. Please subscribe my channel for getting more Android video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.